Imani Bates from Michigan is this year's Gatorade Player of the Year. He became the first sophomore ever to win the award. And let's go by the numbers with the young hoops stand out. The 6'9 forward is ESPN's number one rated recruit in the class of 2022 after only a sophomore season. Earlier this year, ESPN also rated him the number one overall recruit regardless of class. And that ranking clearly well-deserved. Bates averaged 32 points per game this year for Lincoln after averaging 28 per contest as a freshman en route to a Division I high school state championship out in Michigan. And speaking of Michigan, two in-state powerhouses among the colleges competing for Bates. Recall Juwan Howard recently took over at Michigan, while MSU has ranked top 10 in the final AP poll the last three seasons. Imani Bates, uh, his father Elgin, brother Elgin, his mom Edith, and coach Jesse Davis now joining us on SportsCenter. Uh, Imani, as the 16-year-old rising junior, you're going to give us your commitment decision shortly. But first, man, you joined an impressive list of players to win the Gatorade National Player of the Year Award. LeBron James, Kobe Bryant, Chris Webber, Dwight Howard among them. But you're the first player ever to win it as a sophomore. How'd you do that? Uh, just by staying in the gym, you know, every day, countless hours in the gym, and just per perfecting my craft. How does it feel to be amongst that list of uh, of really extraordinary basketball players? It feels good. It just showed me that hard work paying off. Okay. Mr. Bates, I want to ask you a question. You, you are actually in the process of starting prep school. Why do you believe that's the best option for Imani? Uh, I just think he, it's time to uh, be in a situation where uh, – he can continue to grow and develop and also be around like-minded uh, individuals who uh, aspire to play on a higher level and uh, that's committed in the gym and uh, that, that can also challenge them every day in practice. Imani, you, you played an AAU game against Bronny James in May of last year. Pre-game, how'd you feel? Good, because uh, I'm used to playing in like big lights, so it was just another game for me. Imani, what, what conversations, if any, did you get to have with LeBron after that game? I was in an interview during that time, so he just tapped me on the leg, like, good game. I didn't get to talk to him after that game. Okay. But, you know, the king tapped you on the leg. That's, that's pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> All right, uh, Imani, the time has come. Where are you going to be playing college basketball? Uh, I'm not sure what, what the uh, future may hold, but as I do know right now, I will be committed to Michigan State University. I want to hey, 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 say thank you to Coach Is and Coach IOG for, uh, you know, staying with me since I was a youngin, and, you know, just being there through the process and all the uh, MSU stuff. All right. Family Sparty. I like it. Uh, what was it about the program that made you want to go play in East Lansing and Michigan State? Uh, they've been showing love to me since I was, you know, in seventh grade. And, you know, they've been recruiting me hard since then. So I just know they're showing that they love is genuine. And, I'm, and they just been here for a long time. So I, I'm big on loyalty. And then they show me all loyalty. So, you know, I got to show them love back. Mr. Bates, one more for you. How would you feel that, that more schools didn't contact Imani during this recruitment process? Uh, uh, it really did. I was upset at first. But, you know, the one that he, he really wanted to go to uh, was recruiting heavy. And they've been consistent the whole way. So... As long as he got the offer that he wanted and wanted to participate at the school he want, actually wants to play for, I, I'm, I'm happy. Well, they're getting a good one. Imani Bates, top overall player in the class of 2022, will be playing his college basketball at Michigan State. Imani, best of luck to you. Uh, thank you all for being with us here on SportsCenter. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.